So, I don't know if any of y'all have heard of what a spoken word is. Can, can I get a show of hands for those who do know what it is or have heard a piece before? Okay. So, for those of you who do not know, it's a different form of expression through poetry. It's a performance style than written. Um, I did write it, though, and now I'm going to read it to you, but with a little performance. Um, basically, this is my experience, this whole experience, even before um, the course, and just how it has affected me as a leader and as a future teacher. Um, hope you all enjoy. Uh, it was very difficult to write this poem just because it wasn't based off of like any, you know, any like experiences that I would normally write a poem about. If you understand what I'm saying, it was kind of this position was kind of put on me because we were talking as a class about like what would be some good ideas for presentations. And people, somebody was like, I think it was Joseph, Professor Joseph Garcia. Just, well, we have a creative person here. Like, what if we did a poem? And then everybody was like, Oh man, that would be a cool idea. Oh. And then I was just like, Okay, all right, all right, cool. I guess I can do it. Sure. Um, so this is my prop. It will get me in the mood. Um, spoken word uh, does base itself on the performance. So if y'all want to give a couple like mmms when you hear like a really delicious line that like tastes a little savory, just go ahead and throw it out there. If you want to do a couple snaps or like amen or do whatever you want, all right? Hopefully it's that good in order for you all to do that. Um, okay. Uh, I gave her the title. I gave her the title. Yeah, it's called, it's called The Pupil Transformation. I thought that was the person. <laughs> so this is The Pupil Transformation. As the late German philosopher Frederick Nietzsche once said, you are rewarding a teacher poorly if you remain always a pupil. And as a future teacher, I have always stared looking through the keyhole on the thick, heavy door standing before me. What's it like in there? Is it everything I want it to be? Or is it everything I fear? My sister smirks when I tell her about my teaching aspirations with the biggest smile on my face. She says, you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. And the truth is, as my smile turns into dreadful thoughts, she's right. I have no idea. I don't. But what better way to learn than by leading? What better way to realize what you're getting yourself into than by buttoning up my shirt and walking inside a classroom? Leadership was our topic, being selected to student teach, because presumably, we knew something about what it is to be a leader. What is leadership, class? Uh, Leading a group to accomplish a goal? Is that a question? Or are you giving me an answer? Leading a group to accomplish a goal. And as student facilitators, we had our goals. One, to understand our own leadership and facilitation style and how to best utilize our talents as a leader and facilitator. Two, to successfully practice leading through facilitation. Three, to learn and practice operational skills in managing learning processes. Four, to develop and demonstrate interpersonal communication and conflict management skills. Five, to demonstrate reflective learning skills integral to, le to leading. Basically, all of that I interpreted as my goal is to be awesome. Show my students you can learn from even your peers, not just the person with all their degrees. We can learn from each other with our own expertise. I wanted my students to know leadership is more than being the one in command. And through our experiences, we taught them our lessons. If you make a mistake, learn from it. Don't freak out if things don't go according to plan. Take advantage of every opportunity you get. Learn from others. Don't tease anyone because you might work for them someday. Leadership <laughs> is realizing the amazing potential in people and then having them realize it for themselves. So we asked them questions we were being asked ourselves. Why are you here in this classroom, in this university? What are you going to do with your life? Where do you see yourself in five years, in 20 years? How are you going to get there? Our goal was to create a learning community where students can aspire to find answers. How is one expected to lead and to be followed if they don't know who they are, their qualities? their flaws, what they need to work on. How is someone expected to gain an education without the proper tools within themselves? We asked our students, what is leadership? Leadership is finding the positive qualities in everyone. Leadership is taking a step back and being a follower. Leadership is cooperation. Leadership is about maintaining an effective form of communication with everyone. Leadership is support. Leadership is trying your best to understand. Leadership is appreciating others. Leadership is producing options while followers pave the road. Leadership is helping students find their answers. Leadership is X in the infinity squared. 
Leadership is giving students the tools they need to open doors so they don't have to stare through keyholes anymore. Leadership in life is a sprint, not a marathon. Or, or wait, but is it, yeah, leadership in life is a marathon, not a sprint. So let's catch our breath and go for a jog down roads that lead to your answers, your goals, your ambitions. Let's pave new roads and find creative ways to meet your ends. My mind is only beginning to clench the doorknob of education and the many things I still have left to learn. But we all enter from different doors that have brought us here, inside classrooms, hoping to outline the many doors standing before us. I'm not a doctor. I do not have any degrees. I'm only built of experiences, lessons, and a voice, hoping my students turn the doorknob while they kick down the door, too. Thank you.